edition of Walk the Walk. Uh, this time I thought we would talk to uh, Junior uh, Max Borgie. Max, thanks for coming out. Yeah, Meet me in the weight room here. I hang out here every now and then. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're a junior this year. Had a had a, had a great junior year, uh, both academically and athletically. And uh, so I just wanted to ask you a few questions. So let's walk out here. All right. Let's head up this way. Now, academically, you're great. You're doing great in, uh, in your classes and your, your schoolwork. What does it take when you when you, for example, you take a class, and maybe you're, it's not your favorite class, but you know, I gotta work as hard as I can. I mean, this class. definitely just dedication. You gotta dedicate yourself to the class. And though, even if you don't like it, that if you work hard in it and you get the good grade, it's gonna look good to the colleges and help you set, help set you up for your future. That's right. Talk about your uh, uh, beyond academics, uh, your athletic, on the football field, uh, on the track. You, uh, you're all state football. You are a state champion in track. Um, just an amazing accomplishments. What? Uh, how do you heading out of your junior year, getting ready for senior year? How do you feel about your accomplishments so far? I mean, so far up to this point, I mean, I feel pretty accomplished, but I still got a long road ahead of me. Got to keep working. Got to keep doing my thing because I still have a huge list of goals ahead of me. Yeah, that's true. Now, when you what is it? Just for the for the youngsters coming in, especially when you put a when you put a Pomona jersey on. Um, is that just for you, or, or does it mean something a little bit more? It's, there's a big culture behind that. I mean, the Big Black is huge. There's alumni, there's all my brothers, my whole team, my coaches, my family. I mean, you represent a big area with that, and it goes back a long ways, for sure. And let me ask you, uh, let me just ask you straight up. You could have, being an Arvada, an Arvada kid, growing up in Arvada, you could have gone to any, any high school you wanted to. What was it about Pomona that brought you here? Because we do have a lot of students just like you who say, I'm going to Pomona. What was it for you? It's the pride and tradition here. I mean, you can't beat it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ever since I met Coach Madden and just walked the halls here, I just felt something was right about this coach. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, let's take a take one look at one of the great plays that you had this season. Let's take a break and look at that real quick. Okay, so here we are in uh, replay headquarters with Mr. Campbell. Clearly, it was red dot formation. He takes the pitch from Marcus there. What's going on here? I, you know what? I really don't know what he's doing. I think he's uh, trying to exert more energy than necessary. I, I don't know. Uh, but you know what? Whatever he's doing, it is actually working because uh, the defenders, they can't even – they're not even in the same ballpark as this young man. Well, his offensive line's working hard, so he's putting them to the test. But how many yards has he gained on this? Well, I actually think it started on the five-yard line. So it's supposed to be a 100-yard run. But for Max uh, – I think he likes to work overtime. I think this is going to be about 200 yards. And it looks like he's going for more because he's running the wrong way. So I think he's going maybe closer to three. Hey, pretty incredible play there. <laughs> that was like a 300-yard touchdown. Run. That's, that's, that's impressive. Uh, you're signed up with CU. You know what you're, as a junior, uh, you're heading up to CU, and you know what you're going to do. That's like some juniors here and, and seniors here, but uh, some don't quite know what they're going to do. Uh, next year and they're still trying to figure that out so some of your goals are already accomplished how do you how do you stay motivated for next year what do you want to get accomplished for Pomona next year I mean the grind doesn't stop I mean I, I still have a huge set of goals I mean for sure as a team we all want to go to state and take home that championship for sure we've been there we've tasted it but we haven't quite tasted what victory's like in state and that's what we've been wanting and we're gonna go get that and then I have some personal goals as well I mean I'd like to be a Gatorade Player of the Year or a uh, Gold Helmet winner, something along those lines. But it's going to come from hard work, and I just got to keep doing my thing. That's cool. Any uh, any goals for track next year? You know, you know about track still. For track, it still all depends on, on if I'm graduating early yeah. or not. I, I mean, was going to we'll see. Ask. Yeah, okay. we'll see about we'll see. that. That sounds good. Yep. Any tips for our uh, incoming freshmen? Uh, looking at Max Borgy here as a junior, he'll still be in the hallways next year. Any tips for him? Do the right thing. I mean. There's a lot of different things that come up in high school and just stay on the right path. Um, don't come off the right path and keep working hard. And if you keep working hard and set your goals and you can you work for your goals, you can accomplish anything. That's great. Yep. Love you, Max. Thank Thanks, you. man. Yep. Take Very care. Much. 